like any well-meaning father, I think Leopold Mozart wanted to ensure that his son was presented very well at court. And so when Mozart came to write his first symphony, uh, Mozart had ideas that Leopold didn't really approve of. It was a very well-known violin teacher. He wrote a definitive book on playing the violin, in fact, and um, undoubtedly had opinions. In fact, we know he had very strict opinions from the correspondence. So Mozart wrote his symphony, and then Leopold scrubbed out a lot of it and re rewrote certain passages. So the, what we're normally f familiar with is Leopold's version. What Rodney Sharman has done has been to take uh, the first movement of the symphony and actually restore what Mozart wrote. So in other words, seeing through um, the, uh, uh, the markings that Leopold had written down so that we can actually get some kind of idea of the sound world inside the head of this precocious um, eight-year-old. Um, it's a world away from the 41st Symphony, which is, um, I find, um, probably the most exquisite and extraordinary of um, Mozart's symphonic creations. So many of them are really quite amazing. Symphony number no. one and 41 in close proximity, we actually get the chance to, if you like, uh, make an evaluation. How did the boy do? Well, the boy did rather well. Not every prodigy does well, but in Mozart's case, of course, we have the evidence. Mm -hmm. 